Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. So over the weekend that just went past, we had Heroes and Villains Fan Fest taking place in New Jersey. At these events, fans get to like meet their favorite actors from their favorite TV shows and get to interact with them, talk with them a bit, get photos and stuff like that, which I think is great. But we also get to see various Q&A panels take place where, most of the time at least, we get various nuggets of information dropped or teased to get people excited for what is to come with the various shows forward from this point. And of course, this was no different at Heroes and Villains in New Jersey as Stephen Amell, who obviously plays Oliver Queen or the Green Arrow, held a Q&A panel and revealed some pretty interesting things to look forward to in Season 6 of Arrow. It is important to note that this was the last Heroes and Villains fan fest before all the new seasons of the DC TV show started up, so it was really the last like opportunity to personally reveal all these little teasers and stuff before the new season's premiere. But first, I will actually play you a clip from his panel where he was asked to rank his favorite seasons of Arrow from, you know, favorite to least favorite, and you may notice that he um, does something pretty funny. Um, season one. For sure. And then season five. And then season two. And then season three. And that's it. So yeah, from that clip that you just watched, you might have noticed that Steven did just leave out season four of Arrow from his, you know, ranking list of his favorite seasons, which I do find hilarious, but it will be interesting to see if he gets busted or in trouble for that. But let's be completely honest, there was nothing wrong with what he said, he was just telling the truth. But the first thing that Stephen talked about was that Oliver would be a little bit less grim and smiling more in season 6 in comparison to previous seasons, and this is what he had to say. It's a strange thing, Oliver actually this season is a very contented individual, at least so far. Me thinks that will probably change based on just 120 some episodes of history, but I've seen three episodes and he's smiling a lot more. It's nice as an actor to not be a stick in the mud all of the time. So going by what Steven said, it should be good to see a more cheerful Oliver Queen, but it does sound like that will only be, you know, really for the opening episodes of the season before everything hits the fan and he has to take on the threats of Star City much more seriously. But what this quote does really, you know, reveal is that no one extremely close to Oliver is going to die on Lian Yu. As we get closer to the premiere, it does seem like the only casualty from the Lian Yu explosion is going to be Samantha Clayton or William's mother, and possibly Nissa Al Ghul, but I don't really think it is necessary to kill her off because it's not like her death's going to drive any plot forward, it would just be a random death that won't affect the show for the most part, so I don't think it's necessarily, uh, necessary, might I say, to kill her off. Stephen was also asked to recite the season 6 intro, so like the new version of My Name is Oliver Queen, for 5 years, blah blah blah, but he said he couldn't do that as it contains big spoilers that would get him in a lot of trouble, so it's understandable why he couldn't recite that, but it gets you pretty excited for what that season 6 intro could be. Because you think they might change from like in 5 years in hell and stuff like that, they might change it a bit, but we'll have to wait and see. Steven also said that there won't be as much focus on Oliver Queen, like they're not saying he's not going to be the main character anymore, but you know, in Arrow usually, you know, Stephen Amell or might I say Oliver Queen is in like 90% of the scenes, so it does sound like other characters will get decent screen time, and this allows Stephen Amell to have more time off, which he enjoys. I did actually state like a couple of weeks ago that Stephen Amell actually wasn't on set for like almost the whole week of episodes four filming. So episode four does seem like one of those episodes where it's gonna have hardly any Oliver. And I think that episode is gonna be very Black Siren, Black Canary or Dinah Drake orientated because I think the episode title is Reversal, which would suit those two characters. Now I have left the two biggest things that Stephen Amell revealed at his panel until the end, one of which is in the title of this video and that is a new suit for Green Arrow. Now, he didn't specify that this new suit is seen from the get-go in Season 6, so in Episode 1, or if it would debut at a later point in the season, so a couple of episodes in. But we do have this shot here from the most recent promo trailer that does show most of Oliver Queen in the Green Arrow suit. Now, it is pretty hard to tell whether this is a new suit or not, as I do think this new suit that Steven references will just be a slightly upgraded suit from Season 5. The suit in Season 5 looked very different from the, uh, from the one that we saw in Season 4, sorry, to most people, but really, all the Season 5 suit was 
was the season four suit, but with sleeves. But I think where the suit will be upgraded in season six will most likely be in the chest region. So just that middle area, both on the front and the back. But I guess we'll have to wait and see and get a better shot. They might release like a, a promo image for Arrow with the new suit and stuff like that in the next couple of weeks leading up to the beginning of the new season. But we'll have to wait and see if that actually happens. But with that shot that we were just looking at then in regards to the suit, we can also see something else new, and that is the bow that Oliver is holding and using. Now, I personally love this new bow. It looks so sick. It sort of looks like the love child of the season one bow and the recent bows that Oliver has used in the past couple of seasons. But do let me know what you think of this new bow, as I have seen a decent amount of people commenting how much they love it. But I am interested to see if there is anyone out there that doesn't really like it too much and they preferred some of the more previous bows that we've had. So yeah, just let me know your opinions in the comments section down below regarding that. And the last thing to go over, which is the last thing also to go over from Stephen ML's panel, is the reveal that there will be a new trick arrow in the four-part crossover this season across all of the CWDC shows. Now, it is extremely hard, you know, almost borderline impossible, really, to narrow down to which Trick Arrow could be debuting in the crossover, as there is a ridiculous amount. I'm sure if you Google Green Arrow Trick Arrows or something like that along those lines, you will be able to find a list of them, you know, online, just of all the ones that he has used over his history. But one arrow that some of you might already be thinking about debuting is a kryptonite arrow or a kryptonite like infused arrow, you know, just an arrow to do with kryptonite and just some defense against Supergirl. But as I said, it is pretty damn hard to really narrow down what trick arrow we could be seeing in the crossover, but do let me know what you were thinking about this or in regards to this in the comments section down below. But thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like on it just to show your support for the video and the channel as a whole. As I've said throughout the video a couple of times, let me know all of your opinions in the comments section down below on the various things I've mentioned. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.